home location at Mackey's Hot Rods in Huntington Beach to shed a little light on the history of hot rods and how the idea for the Sailor Jerry Hot Rod was born. Let's say hi to Brian Mackey, the builder of the Sailor Jerry Hot Rods, and Mark Carson, the director of marketing for Sailor Jerry. Who is Sailor Jerry and what does he have to do with hot rods? Yeah, Sailor Jerry actually was a pretty well-known tattoo artist who spent the majority of his career in Honolulu. So he was in Honolulu from about World War II until his death in 1973. He had a tattoo shop on Hotel Street. A lot of the Americana artwork that you see nowadays uh, that's extremely popular really came about from his influence. So he was an extremely influential uh, artist in that time. He tattooed a lot of a lot of soldiers and a lot of military Navy guys that came through uh, either going or coming back from, from war or from duty. Um, so the idea that, uh, that he's connected to hot rods is more, it's not so much the hot rod, it's more the, the, the nostalgia of hot rods. So Brian, is this car a rat rod or a hot rod and, and what's the difference? To me this car is very much hot rod. Um, it, it has a rat rod look to it uh, with the patina and body. But we built this car uh, you know, to be strictly hot rod and to be driven and, and to be safe and functional. And you know, we have a coil over rear suspension in it. It's got a Schroeder steering box. It's got um, F100 brakes. There's a lot of components on it that really make it a true hot rod. It's kind of a true hot rod that's blanketed kind of to be a, a patina uh, rat rod look. And so what are the plans for this car for 2013? Uh, we're going to sell it. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to sell it. Actually, in, in 2013, you know, this car is going to come back as a reincarnation of itself. So the idea of this vehicle is not to build it once and then it's done. Um, the idea is to kind of, again, it kind of parallel Norman Collins, to kind of parallel Sailor Jerry's life in that he was an, he was an innovator. Uh, he was an amateur engineer. He had a, a late night talk show in Hawaii. He's kind of a, an interesting guy and he was always kind of looking for that next thing. He was always trying to improve on his designs as an artist. Yeah, so it's going to be in probably in a month or so, it's going to it's going to start getting torn down. We'll be working on it for the next week. Brian will be working on it for the next several months. Uh, and then we're actually going to relaunch the vehicle uh, at Viva Las Vegas next April uh, as, you know, phase two of the Sailor Jerry car.